Here, here we will study about usefulness of the heritability. The first point is relative role of heredity and environment. Through heritability, we come to know the contribution of heredity and contribution of environment towards a trait. So, uh, this these contributions can be estimated by broad sense heritability. So, broad sense heritability. If the broad sense heritability that is denoted by capital H square is high, if it is high, then contribution of heritability. I'm sorry, contribution of heredity is high in controlling the particular trait. But if herit herit heritability, broad sense heritability is less, then contribution of environment is more in controlling the trait. The second is type of gene action and breeding plan. So there are many types of gene actions, different types of gene actions like additive gene actions, non-additive gene, gene actions, and even the environmental effects. This environmental effects and different types of gene actions has uh, has effect on the expression of the traits expression of the traits it means different economic traits of livestock may be influenced at different extent to different extent by additive and non-additive genetic effects and by environment effects a comparison value of broad sense heritability and narrow sense heritability indicates additive gene additive genetic variance is important whether Additive genetic variance is important or non-additive genetic variance is important for the trait. So, say, like, suppose if heritability, narrow sense heritability is more, then we can, we come to know that additive genetic variance is more important in controlling the trait. If narrow sense heritability is more, means additive genetic variance is more important for that trait. <clears throat> so, if additive genetic variance is more important that, Im more important for that trait, then, in order to bring genetic improvement in the population, we can do selection, intra-population selection. So, this is a breeding plan. As the heading says, type of gene action and breeding plan. If we know the type of gene action, like we know the type of gene actions uh, by the heritability. And we can propose a breeding plan for it. So, in the same way, if broad sense heritability is more, then non-additive gene action is working on the trait. So in that case, spatial breeding schemes which make proper use of non-additive gene actions like inbreeding, crossbreeding, etc. shall be effective for the genetic improvement. The third is choice of selection program. In the choice of selection program, I, I have just added a sentence here that we have already studied earlier. Like it tells the breeder on how much confidence to place on the phenotypic performance of the animal. So from that, from the same point, we can come into conclusion that if heritability of a trait is high, then we can do selection for it. Like if heritability of a trait is high, if heritability of a trait is high, then animal's phenotypic performance, I'm sorry. Animal's phenotypic performance is a good indicator of its breeding value or genetic merit. Therefore, we can go for selection if, if heritability is high. But say if heritability is low. Here, heritability is either, bro it can be either broad sense or narrow sense heritability. If the heritability is low, then uh, the phenotypic performance of the animal is a low indicator or of its genetic merit. So in this case, what we do is we go for other selection programs like progeny testing, family selection, etc. The number f number four point for uh, which tells the usefulness of heritability is the prediction of genetic gain. Genetic gain is also called response to selection. The formula is given by R equal to h square s. That R equal to h square s r equal to h square s here what is genetics genetic gain it is the amount of genetic improvement expected due to selection for a trait say you are estimating and you are you selected a trait you selected a trait 
which you want to promote uh, for for better economic pur purpose. So, so the amount of genetic improvement. You can predict the amount of genetic improvement with the help of heritability. That's what this point says. Thank you.